So one of the new features in the latest version of Config Manager 2107 is the ability to use virtual machine scale sets within Cloud Management Gateway. Now, if you've already got the CMG, this essentially means tearing down the old one and starting with a new one, but that's not such a big deal. So what I've done in my lab environment, you may have seen my previous video which mentioned how to set up the classic service for um, setting up your virtual machine for the CMG. Uh, in this video, I've torn all of that down already, so I've destroyed the virtual machines quite a long time ago actually, because this is a lab and it costs money to run. Um, so I'd, I'd already torn all of that down. Today, I'm going to start with a virtual machine scale set to show you how that works. So what we'll do straight off the bat is show you what still exists. So I didn't tear down my Azure service. The CMG for cloud management is still there with my user discovery and my uh, group discovery. Still there, still working, it's all fine. You'll see that cloud management gateway doesn't exist anymore and the cloud distribution points doesn't exist anymore. If I head down to my certificate snap in and the certificate console here, you can see I have the GMCMG certificate here, which is still valid. So I'm planning to use this. I put a lot of effort into creating that template, a relative amount of effort into creating that template. And if you're interested in how that works and how it was all done, please check out the other video. It's just as relevant now as it was then. So please take a look and uh, and then you'll be able to get to where we are now. But for now, I've got this GMCMG. I don't remember the password for the for the file I exported though. So I'm gonna export this with a private key and then uh, we'll be able to import that into the, uh, into the CMG when we create it. So I'm just gonna give this a password now. But we'll just pop this into our C drive. I've got the old one there that I didn't get rid of. But I don't remember the password. So we'll choose next and finish. All good, okay, so our certificate is there. This is genuinely my first time deploying the CMG with the virtual machine scale set. I've read the documentation, but this is my first time actually trying it out. So you'll experience that with me. So let's go into um, the CMG and we'll try clicking create cloud management gateway and we're going to use the Azure public cloud because we're not the government so it's fine VM skill set and we'll click sign in bear with me a few seconds while I do this okay that's all done so it's picked up my sub and we're ready to go I'll just tab down to next and then we'll see what it's asking for so it's looking for the certificate file for this so let's grab that one that I stuck down into the C drive here, and it's the dash one which was created now, not three months ago. So we'll choose that one. And it's asking for the password, which is fantastic because I've just typed it, so I should remember it. And it looks like I did. So it's going to choose eastus.cloudapp.azure.com as the suffix for my GMCMG fully qualified domain name. Um, but this is the, the service name that I'm creating here, which, which is much more friendly to end users. Not that they'll need to type it. So the region is uh, currently set to East US. I will, I, all of these regions weren't available when I first did this video. I want to choose UK South and see what, ah, look at that. That's great. So it's changed to UK South. Fantastic, makes a lot more sense. So we're going to create a new uh, resource group because I don't have one that makes sense for this. I have deleted all of that. And we'll call it CMG. And then we've got a choice of VM side, which again is quite new. So we've got lab, which is the, the, these these letters and numbers are the size of the virtual machine, the notation from Azure. Uh, and I'm going to choose lab to be honest, because I don't want it to cost too much. This is quite a, you know, this is we have a finite amount of funds to to run these labs. And A2 V2 is the standard, and large as A4 V2. And so we'll choose lab. But again, we can choose the number of instances we have. Again, I'm going to choose one, but I think maybe the whole scale set idea might mean that I should be able to scale it up and scale it down as I need to. So that's good. Um, specify security settings for authenticating client connections through CMG. Well, we've got no certificates uploaded, so let's... Okay, so um, if we go down to our trusted root certificate authorities and find, find my trusted root and export that, We'll just pop that into the C drive. Call it that. 
<clears throat> I don't believe I have an intermediate trusted root. That's the same one, isn't it? Okay, so that's that. Let's refresh this page and we should have the root CA. All good. So there he is. Choose OK. And that's pretty much it. So we're gonna we're not gonna verify CRL because I don't have one. Um, that is bad security practice for me. We can enforce TLS because that's good and allow CMG to function as a, as a cloud distribution point and serve content from Azure Storage. Now, I personally don't th see the point of using a CMG if you're not also using it as a cloud DP. They used to be split out between CMG as the management point and then you were able to create a cloud distribution point and, and you always did. So the ability to put all of those into one bundle because it's really not adding a lot of processing requirement to the server because it doesn't actually serve content it just sends it off to Azure to in the in the CDN for you to get the content so that's that's all good so over to the next button um, and this is all about thresholds and and alerts and stuff so and so the first checkbox we see is turn on 14 day threshold f and alerts for monitoring outbound data transfer in my environment I I had this turned on and actually I found that it did something unexpected. I, I think it found, it, it, what it actually did was throttle me, or throttle the service, not me. Um, that would be weird. So it throttled the service when I hit the, the outbound data transfer limit. And that was unexpected. So I had to turn that off because it seemed to be acting unusually. But uh, since then it's, it's been fine. So I've, I'm, I'm gonna leave that on. I'm certainly not gonna hit the threshold um, in this environment, but that in in that was in a, a customer environment that I found that, um, but you know the default to find for for this lab, so we'll just go with that. Let's tap down to next and choose that. And so this is what we're going to do into UK South because that's um, I was going to say it's the closest to me, but I'm actually in the north of the UK. But it's it was the only one I saw with UK written on it, so we'll choose next on that. And we're all done. So the only option we've got at the bottom there is to click close. And you can see the state of this CMG is set to provisioning. So we'll give that a few minutes. Okay, so it's still saying provisioning. Just going to click refresh. Still saying provisioning. So we're going to take a look at some logs. So if I head over to CM Trace and open up, we're looking for a log called Cloud MGR, which is here. So for reference, this is in. C program for not C. It's in your uh, wherever your config manager directory is logs, and then Cloud MGR stands for manager, I assume. And what we can see is that it's doing something. Well, look at this. So this is all around now. I'll scroll to the top, and it's doing a load of stuff. So we can see the progress of this of this process, um, and it looks like it's doing. It looks like it's just waiting for stuff to take place at the moment, checking every 15 seconds. So that's that's normally where it will be of be creating stuff in Azure and waiting for that service to pull back and say that it's completed. So what I'll do now is jump over to Azure and see how that's going. Okay, so into Azure, this is a the virtual machine screen. Before I refresh it, if I choose refresh, hopefully I'm expecting to see nothing at all. Hmm. Um, let's take a look at the results group that we just created then, because I definitely created one called CMG in the UK South, which is this one here, specifically not CMC, that's a cloud management community, which is not what we're talking about today. So CMG, and in here, we have a VM scale set, which is different to a virtual machine, clearly. So let's take a look what we've got here. So the profile is... Um, a Windows Server data center, very good. And we've got an IP address, don't hack me. Um, yeah, so this is different, this is properly different. And it says it's creating. Let's click on this arrow and we'll see what it's doing. So it's creating and the level is of this of this log is information that's, you know, accurate. That's great. And I guess we're gonna have to wait. Okay, so the status has just updated from creating. Um, 
well, it used to say creating at the top here, and now it says status one out of one succeeded, which is great because I was only hoping for one, so one out of one is, you know, good. Well, I guess I, I guess that's all I need from Azure. I'm hoping. Look at that. Yeah, that, I mean that's about right. So this is the kind of thing we normally see in a virtual machine to show us what's going on with our CMG. So that's good. So let's head over to the um, the server again and see what's going on. So okay, so it was doing it's doing some stuff, starting and stopping. Very good. Uh, yeah, okay, so the, the log is getting a little bit mixed up with stuff going on here. So if we close that and look at this provisioning still, I'll click refresh and see what happens. Ah, ready. We are ready. Okay, so I'm kind of comfortable that the, the status of this is ready. What I want to do next is demonstrate that the CMG works, because that's important to, to get across. And then perhaps scale it up, so that we can show we can scale it. And that's the point of the scale set. But I think the, the idea that we're using a scale set rather than the virtual machine itself is, you know, is a good thing um, anyway. So I have a few more videos that I want to do around this, specifically about how you get your clients into the CMG, uh, you know, the, the config manager clients that are born in the cloud. How do they how do they get the config manager client and that kind of thing deployed to them from Intune? What settings do you need to set and, and flags do you need to set within uh, within the installation? to get that working. But that's for another video, literally the next video I'm about to do. So if this video has helped you, please hit the like button. The like button really does help. It's it's, it's such a small thing for you to do. Just click, hit that button. I don't mind if you don't subscribe, not a problem. Hit the like button. Let me know if you've actually liked it. If you haven't liked it, please hit the dislike button and let me know in the comments why you didn't like it. I'll see you next time.